walk that one in for birdie. Seven, Saki Slammer from the man himself. It's on a nice line, Ian. Get that. Woo! I thought I had a chance. <laughs> Me too. More challenging. His arm can cover up some of that distance at it least. Can. Waisaki on the tee of nine. Playing the high flexor should have plenty of airspace to make its way back and save. Perfect. Don't bump your head, Ricky Waisaki. Air. Ooh, Brian warned us about this shot for Rick. Wow. 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 No wow. way. You're gaining big strokes on folks with par. Waisaki looking for par, throwing four now. Here's the sidearm action. This is looking fantastic. Few better in the game at that shot. Back over to Waisaki on 15. Don't hit that. Oh, Ricky, you're making me look silly. Enter foot in mouth. Oh, gosh. Ricky Waisaki. That was real good. Yeah. 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 the bridge downtown for Ricky Wysocki. That's a nice birdie putt. It's a troll putt. Bingo. There you go. On the same green, Wysocki for birdie and to make the lead card round three. Yeah. Come on, Rick. Yeah. Shot right off the bat, Rick setting the pace. Going to the Heiser flip, misses all the trees. Oh, that's a sneaky line. A little bit of ground play, and you don't see Rick miss that putt very often. Nope. Here is that bird. Wysocki's up, shot on hole two. Par four coming in at 580 feet. Crafty little second shot here by Rick. Dodges the trees, gets the ground play once again. Back on the fairway, we have a range. For, they have him at 360, Philo. Yeah, a little bit longer than he'd like, but plenty of arm speed with the flick for Rick. There you go. No problem. Final crew on point. Waisaki for birdie. Putting right at OB. Clutch Rick. He wasted no time with that. He had full confidence he was about to pop that one dead in the heart. But out towards their left, correct. So this should help hold his disc up a little bit. Mitigate the big finish. Beautiful. Ricky Wysocki nearly skips in for ace. To maintain that four-stroke lead. Ricky Wysocki show. He is dialed. 11, 1083 rated from Gannon earlier this week. I believe that was the number. Yeah. Waisaki on the tee of 12. Trying to anticipate that crossing wind hangs it out there way wide. Another near ace run from Waisaki. He is dialed. That's five in a row. Action. Uh, Waisaki 360 to the pin. Hangs it very wide and high. Plenty of space to work with. He's going to miss Rick. the safe side every time now, isn't he? <laughs> Barely missed, though. That ain't a miss. That's in the bullseye. Rick's Ooh. about to string up double turkey, man. Is he really? Ooh. Waisaki. Going vandal roller. Aggressive play for Rick here. Very far right. And he chops that one straight into the woods with a really favorable bounce out here. This is going to dribble its way back into the fairway. Tricky Ricky. What a reaction. Good place to be. Waisaki. Last tee shot on his way to the win. That's fine as long as it doesn't cut roll. There you go. Yeah. You know, a lot of guys got the game to find themselves in this position, but it's hard to stick around. Like, just stay there for the whole tournament. Waisaki second, making solid progress on the fairway. That's all you needed. Man, the ones that got away from him were so detrimental. They are just killing all that momentum that he was building. He was. And that's just not something you see guys like Ricky and Paul typically do. Once they're in the driver's seat, once they're leading the tournament. 
Oh, they just don't goes. typically relinquish. They don't let people come back on them like that. They don't let them put the pressure on them. They set the tone. They they create the pace. Two blocks away. Never knew it was there. I wish I had. Touchdown, yeah. Open Champion Ricky Lysaki. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, for the third consecutive time. Your 2022 Discraft Ledgestone Opium Champion, Ricky Wysocki. Yeah! Yeah, let's go. The Ledgestone Open Champion, Ricky Wysocki. Ricky, it's been a long week of disc golf, and I can see a sigh of relief coming out of you. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it kind of like was blackout mode there in the middle stretch. I, I got a lot of birdies, and I uh, really set myself apart, like I said I was going to do yesterday. And uh, that's what I know I needed to do and, and put the pressure on everybody else. And, you know, I feel like that's where I set myself apart is late in the round, uh, the final day, I can make the shots happen and, uh, you know, put myself in position to win. And I'm glad I did that.